what scares me about it is that person talking to you there, your brain at the moment, because we haven't advanced enough in AI, and maybe we will, knows that's not human. And because it knows it's not human, it's not releasing any of the positive chemicals that come with social interaction in your brain. And it's those chemicals that underpin your health, your mental health and your physical health. So that's the problem. Your prefrontal cortex at the moment is not recognizing that as human. So it's not going to kick off anything. And that is the problem. Now, maybe a robot, you know, an AI guy would say to me, oh, we'll get there. OK, if you can get there, great. But at the moment, we're not. And we have people who are starting to build really strong attachments to these things. It's a parasocial relationship, same as building a relationship to a celebrity you've never met. But you're not getting any of the positive benefits. So have them in their life, have them as part of your social network if you want to, spend time, but do not replace humans with them or even dogs with them. Care robots scare me because, um, again, it's about replacing humans in a context which is very, very complicated from a neuroscientific point of view. Care requires empathy. It requires um, a thing called a, which occurs in very close human relationships, again, underpins our um, immune system and our health, known as biobehavioral synchrony. 